Okay, so it's been nearly a week since Apple released iOS 16.1 Developer Beta 3. And of course, I'd like to come back and share with you guys additional details in regards to the software, any bugs that I may come across, any additional new features as always. So let's dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now in today's video i want to talk about performance battery my personal experience also you guys also voted on the youtube community poll we'll take a look at that here shortly but if you missed my initial coverage apple did add something that was new to the wallpapers in this latest beta and that is in these preset lock screen options that you have here so if you have multiple lock screens you can now set those directly within the wallpapers categories as you can see right there it says current i can go ahead and set this one if i wish to do so and now that will be my lock screen so it's pretty cool very simple something in case you missed it for my initial coverage now apple has also added some changes to the app store options when you download an application in app content this option right here is now enabled by default and it allows the applications to actually download the content before you even launch these applications which is a very cool feature very useful feature as well now i liked what apple is doing with their latest os updates i really like that they're adding new features to older devices for example the new airpods pro do have adaptive transparency mode and now apple with the latest airpods beta and ios 16.1 the airpods pro first generations now get a new feature which is adaptive transparency mode and this is cool to see right because you get more for your money now when you get an apple product apple continues to add new features and this just brings these products to a new level of experience right because now you have a new software and improvement in overall now it is currently in beta so yeah apple has brought the adaptive transparency mode to the airpods pro first generation as it is a new feature on the second generation i'm happy to see that it is great to see that apple continues to support older hardware like airpods first generation with new features as well when it's possible i like to see that now let's jump into the youtube community poll and then we'll talk about expect the release dates for the next beta so as we go here onto youtube of course the youtube community poll the question is how is i iOS 16.1 beta 3 working for you of course and we have about 6,700 votes here we have a 26% of you guys that say you're having a great experience we also have a 12% of you guys that say there's some bugs we also have a 5% that say are having a very very bad experience here it's very buggy and we have a whopping 57% of you guys that are simply just not running the beta so my overall consensus when it comes to battery and performance so far I do have to say that the battery isn't the best yet so it does get me through the entire day but the battery isn't the best you can always come back to these youtube community polls because a lot of you guys do have great experience with your battery performance as you can see there one of the most popular comments also here the second most popular i love the update everything is working fine i like to see that however the third comment here the most popular comment here the third one most popular mentions an issue that some iphones continue to go into a reboot or shutdown after connecting to power now i've had other youtubers and other people tell me that when they plug their iPhones overnight sometimes they do go into a shutdown mode and sort of freeze I haven't experienced that myself but it looks like some of you guys have experienced that and other users have experienced this as well so I would like to hear from you are you encountering this issue on 16.1 where you plug your iPhone and then it sort of goes into a deep sleep state if you will or a shutdown mode let me know if you've experienced that yourself and overall consensus here the software is slowly progressing but things are looking pretty good battery gets me through the entire day but it could be better and some of the minor bugs that apple continues to address such as that one that we just talked about now when can we expect the next beta so if you follow me here on the channel you already know that apple is on a weekly release schedule and the last beta was on the 27th so the next beta will most likely happen in tomorrow october the fourth so beta 4 for ios 16.1 will most likely be coming in tomorrow if you're watching this video on monday the third and i do want to mention that we'll most likely see some of the new features in regards to the satellite connectivity features hope and fingers crossed apple brings this with the next beta so let me know your thoughts in those comments down below what do you think about ios 16.1 so far thank you for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one peace